Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. The story behind Jurgen Klopp's feud with Paul Tierney. Liverpool boss was told to get over it on a missed foul in 2020 to spark the animosity that includes a face-off at Spurs and a gender accusation. We have a history with Tierney. I really don't know what this man has against us. He has said there are no problems but that cannot be true. That was Jurgen Klopp on referee Paul Tierney after the dramatic finale to Liverpool's 4-3 win over Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday afternoon. A few minutes earlier, Tierney had shown the Liverpool manager a yellow card for a sprint down the touchline to confront fourth official John Brooks, so explosive it left him with a pulled hamstring. That was in response to Diogo Jota's 94th minute winner, the seventh of seven goals in a thrilling encounter at Anfield. In the eyes of many, including Alan Shearer on match of the day, Klopp was fortunate not to have been sent to the stands for the few seconds that remained of Liverpool's win. But he's likely to be hit with an fought charge anyway for his post-match comments about Tierney, with Klopp alleging the referee said something unacceptable to him while showing the yellow card. PGMOL, the referee's body for the Premier League, responded in strong terms late on Sunday night, accusing Klopp of lying after reviewing audio recordings and insisting Tierney acted in a professional manner throughout. But Sunday was just the latest installment in a feud between Klopp and Tierney that has been running for some time now. The 42-year-old official, who hails from Wigan, has taken charge of 23 Liverpool games in the Premier League and two in the FA Cup in total since January 2017. Tierney has taken charge of more Liverpool games than any other club, with Manchester City, 20, and Manchester United, 18, the next most regular. Liverpool won seven of their first eight league matches with Tierney in the middle, but after a 2-1 defeat by Arsenal in July 2020, they have won just six of 15, and there have been a series of flashpoints. The first came during Project Restart in July 2020 when Tierney was blasted by Klopp after apparently missing a foul on Jorginho Wijnaldum in a game with Aston Villa. Emotions ran high despite Liverpool winning 2-0 having already been crowned Premier League champions. According to reports at the time, Tierney replied, I miss the Jurgen. I'm like players, I'm going to make mistakes. I missed it. Get over it. With Anfield empty amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the exchange was more audible than usual. When Liverpool hosted Manchester United in January of the following season, Klopp was left looking stunned on the sidelines when Tierney blew a few seconds early for halftime with Sadio Mane about to run through on goal. A minimum of one additional minute had been signalled but the clock was short of that as the whistle sounded with Mane away. The game finished goalless. Another clash came during a dramatic 2-2 draw with Tottenham in December 2021 when Klopp marched up to Tierney and said he had no problem with any referees, only you. Klopp felt Harry Kane should have been sent off for a tackle on Andy Robertson, the striker was shown a yellow instead, and later Robertson was himself dismissed for a reckless hack on Emerson Royal after Tierney checked VAR replays. It was reported at the time that Klopp waited for Tierney in the tunnel at halftime. The draw meant Liverpool, in the midst of a squad COVID outbreak, lost ground to Man City in the title race and with emotions running high, Klopp said, I really have no idea what is, Tierney's, problem is with me. Honestly, I have no idea. You just need an objective ref who sees the situations and trust them. I think we all agree it is a clear red card. You have to ask Mr. Tierney. Klopp took an indirect swipe at Tierney earlier this year after Liverpool went down 3-1 to Brentford. Insistent that Brian Bumo had pushed over Ibrahim Akanat in the build-up to one of Brentford's goals. Klopp was asked whether he'd spoken to the match officials about it. Yeah, but actually that's exactly the same as I would talk to my microwave, you get no response, really, it's always the same, he said. Tierney then found himself in the eye of the storm again when Liverpool drew 2-2 with title chasing Arsenal at Anfield last month. Assistant referee Constantine Hatsidakis appeared to elbow Robertson as they walked off at the end of the first half with the Liverpool defender booked for his protestations. 
Had Sirkis was cleared to return to duty by the Football Association following an investigation. Sunday's Madcap game at Anfield has become the latest episode in this manager-referee feud. Liverpool led 3-0 inside the first 15 minutes and looked on course for a cricket score, only for Spurs to claw it back to 3-3 when Richarlison equalised in the 93rd minute. Klopp was furious Spurs were awarded a free kick in the lead-up to that goal and when Jota won it, he felt the need to scream at fourth official Brooks. The German admitted that pulled hamstring was instant karma for his actions I got punished but you suspect even that painful moment won't quell this ongoing argument with Tierney. Jurgen Klopp is facing another touchline ban, with the audio of his conversation with Paul Tierney described as a smoking gun which clears the referee, despite the Liverpool boss claiming Tierney made unacceptable comments to him. Jurgen Klopp is facing his second touchline ban of the season with referees chiefs willing to share the audio recording of his conversation with Paul Tierney, the ref he accused of being biased against Liverpool, with the FA. Red's boss Klopp's behavior was thrust into the spotlight after he celebrated Liverpool's late winner in Sunday's 4-3 win against Tottenham by charging towards fourth official John Brooks, pulling a hamstring in the process, before claiming that Tierney said something untoward when he was cautioned. Refereeing body, the PGMOL, whose officials wear microphones, listened back to the audio and disputed Klopp's claims, saying that Tierney acted in a professional manner throughout. They are sad to send that audio to the FA, who are investigating the incident, along with his overzealous celebration in post-match comments. They were on Monday awaiting the referee's report before announcing any formal charges. One insider described the audio as a smoking gun which clears tyranny, and the conversation is likely to be made public at the end of any disciplinary case as the FAR release written reasons with the outcome. Klopp, 55 has turned into a repeat defender, ignoring previous warnings about his conduct from the FAW. The German has already served the one-game suspension this season for berating assistant referee Gary Beswick during Liverpool's 1-0 win over Manchester City in October, as well as being fined £30,000. This is also not the first time he has been in trouble for accusing a referee of bias having been fined £45,000 in February 2019 for saying Kevin Friend gave every 50-50 for West Ham against Liverpool after realising he wrongly let Sadio Mane's opener stand in a 1-1 draw. Tierney arguably helped Liverpool on Sunday by not dismissing eventual match winner Diogo Jota for his high foot on Oliver Skip but Klopp feels they have a history. In December 2021, Tierney failed to send off Harry Kane during a 2-2 draw at Tottenham but did dismiss Andy Robertson. Last month, Tierney was also the man in the middle when assistant referee Constantine Hatsidikas was accused of elbowing Robertson in a 2-2 draw with Arsenal. Despite Klopp's gripes, referee chiefs will not shy away from assigning Tierney to future Liverpool games, with one source saying Premier League managers should not be allowed to influence the assignments list. In a statement on Monday, Charity Ref Support UK took aim at the League Managers Association for their silence, saying, The behaviour of some managers on the touchline is disgraceful and has been for decades, yet the LMA appear to say and do nothing to address the problem. They never publicly condemn such behaviour. It is therefore fair to ask, why do the LMA exist? Where there are public statements on unacceptable behaviour by their members? Their silence is shameless and gives the perception that they condone such behavior.